Welcome to the high school sports rally. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Max. I'm Frank Vassalero. Lives can change in a second. We all know that. And for one umpire, that's exactly what happened. A life he almost lost, then decided it was indeed worth living because someone needed him very much. This is what Bill Zabel loves to do, umpire baseball game. Last year was a light year. It was about uh, only 75, but I usually average no less than uh, 120. His schedule was interrupted last September. On an afternoon on 35W, he was in a car accident, and it was serious, very serious. And I just saw my hands, my elbows, just like a puppet. They were in all different directions. And I tried to uh, move my head. I couldn't move. He was taken to a hospital. His family flew in to say goodbye. Did I think he was gone? Yeah. Yes. What's that like? It's like walking through a tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> and you, want, you see what? It's just, it's not real. They were ready to take him off life support. Then he decided to fight for a very good reason. Triangle, yeah. See, the day before this accident, they had officially adopted their granddaughter as their daughter, two-year-old Ella, and he saw her as he lay paralyzed, ready to accept death. I basically had it in my mind, because if I was going to be a quadriplegic, that I just wanted DNR. Yep. And when Joey said her goodbyes and it's okay, and, and then when she said, don't worry about Ella, she will make sure that she always remembers me for the rest of my life, remembers Papa. I immediately changed my mind. Because Ella coming into their lives changed their lives in ways they could not imagine. What do you think she means to him? The world. Yeah. <laughs> you had a girl. How much are you motivated for her right now? Every bit. Every time I have to wake up in the middle of the night, and there's pain. I think of her, I think of Jody, and every time uh, they roll me over, uh, it's pain. I look at these pictures. He's making progress on this day, able to move his fingers. Awesome. He does not know what the future means to him. Awesome. He misses the game he loves so much because the game is special in so many ways. Every game is different. Every game. You can tell sometimes when the pitchers are you know, warming up, you're going, okay, it's going to be a good game. Or other times you're going to go, this is going to be a long game. Should we take Papa for a while? But the reason he's here at all is because of the granddaughter that has become their daughter. Neither one of us would have thought we'd have been raising a child, but, oh, my God, it's just... The best it, thing it, that happened to you? It was the best thing, and it was so much fun, and I'm missing it. I'm missing a large part of it. And but that's why you're inspired to get back, right? Every bit of it. And there is no doubt in the minds of people who know him well that he would not be here if it wasn't for Ella. Climb up, climb up on Papa. That a girl. Is there any question in your mind, though, that had Ella not been there, that maybe he would have gone? No question. He wouldn't be here today. He wouldn't be here today. He'd have said so long. He would have. <laughs> but he kept thinking about her. Right. That's pretty powerful. She is pretty powerful. <laughs> yes, she is. She'll be three years old this spring. Bill will attend his first baseball game since the accident on Sunday afternoon.